Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment and here we are on our fifth tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'll be talking how to change your game view from first person shooter to a third person shooter or to a, a top view uh, for your player start. Now I got a couple of, uh, of projects already made for this so I'm just going to explain how to insert everything. First of all you know normally when you start a new map you create a floor and everything uh, you start playing like a first person shooter now let me do this really quick here so I can show you guys really quick light point I'll pull it up there go actor player star um, the side a little bit there we go and now Let's tell the game is gonna be a I don't know the match game. There we go. Build AI path and build lightning. Oh my bad. Build lightning. Okay. Come on, man. Hurry up. Come on, really quick. Move, move, move. Thank you. Uh. My bad. For a uh, full screen, man. Full screen. Uh, it doesn't want to give me the full screen. I don't know why. It sucks. There we go. So, as you can see, uh, we start playing like a first person shooter. Now, I got a project here. It's, uh, it's to, to configure, set up your game as a third person shooter now <coughs> this is the easiest way to to set up your game for the third person shooter first of all create a floor create a light create a pl uh, player start after that go to the unreal kismet by going to the top of your window on view and click on unreal kismet or on your toolbar click on the green key to open the unreal, uh, unreal kismet <coughs> now to set up this first of all just right click go to new event level loaded and it will give you this option here this one and I'm moving right now now for the console command right click on the gray spot go to uh, my bad my bad uh, I got lost here sorry guys um, new event, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. console event, here we go. Now, uh, after right clicking and choosing new event, console event, uh, bad. What the hell is this? Thing? No, I can't find it. What's wrong? Misc, misc. Here we go. Sorry, my bad, guys. Uh, I'm just a little messed up because I was trying to make a lot of tutorials of different stuff and with different setups on the on the Unreal Kismet. It's really like really hard to remember everything. Now right click, go to new action, misc console command. When you click on console command, you will get this one that I have on yellow right now. Now after doing that, right click go to uh, new new variable new variable go to player and choose player and you will get this one right here that says all players now after doing that click on console command and in the properties here where it says commands you need to write to type behind view now that's all for the third person shooter you need to link remember guys you need to link let me break the links here so you can see what I'm talking about you need to link this one the load invisible to the in and the console command and the beginning of the level to the in and the console command and the target to the all players now after doing that just build the AA path build the lightning 
<clears throat> it's kind of hard to remember all the different setups that we can that we can make on the engine I just need to stick with only one of them now let's play yeah well, let me put this over here on the screen now as you can see we have a uh, full screen thank you we have the third person shooter uh, and then another thing you can move around with a third person shooter up and down up and down see you can shoot up down to the sides you can run along now there's another way that you can create a third person shooter or a top view and that's uh let me open that one third person shooter there we go just select now from this you need to create uh, a camera and for that you need to go to a content browser actor classes choose in common common choose camera actor then right click on the floor and click on add camera actor here you will get this camera you need to point the camera behind the player start and any uh, any place that you want the the cameras to be you will be seeing the the player now let's snap the view to the actor now this is uh, the view that we will have uh, for the player the uh, the player will be here your character your character will be here in this side on the, on the left side of the game now uh, after <coughs> inserting the camera view and uh, deci uh, deciding where to put the camera go to the Unreal Kismet you need to create a player spawn to create a, a player spawn you need to go to the new event player player spawn now you need to create uh, you need to create an attach to actor for that right click go to new action actor attach to actor and you will get this one right here now to set the camera target you need to right click uh, let me see what I can find this one camera 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 come on camera where you at there we go go to the new, right click go to new action camera and choose set camera target and you will get this one right here now you need to link the in the player spawn the out you need to link it to the attach actor on the in and the target uh, you need to create a player so you need to go to new variable player player and you will get this one that I have right here and you need to link the target from the attach to actor to the player now I know it looks uh, really hard but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quick let me delete everything so you guys can can do it a lot easier now first of all we need um, the player spawn we have the player spawn right here now we need the attached to actor now we have it here okay it's looking nice and now we need the camera target now go to our right click go to new action go to camera and choose set camera target now link the player spawn out to the attach actor in the in and the out of the attach to actor to the set camera target now right click on the gray spot any gray, any part of the gray spot of the real kismet and click on new adjuvar using camera actor zero now for that you need to link the attached uh, to actor attachment to the camera and in the set camera target you need to, to to link the cam target to the camera now let's create the player you need to go to new variable player player now you need to link the player in the attached to actor with the target and the target of the set camera target you need to link it with the player now that's all to it now you have linked everything up uh, now it's time to, to play a little while with the camera here build the AA path 
build the lightning there we go now let me close this up play yes you are what i'm red yeah i know girl there we go as you can see we have a different view for uh for the third view for the camera it looks way better than the the normal third person view just because you can see all the body of the character here now if you know what if you want to create a top view game like i don't know like mm, the older Zelda games or something like that just uh let me open the project here just move the camera leave the settings that uh like you did in the first uh on this map that we were working right here training a manual uh third person view we got a camera someplace around here there we go just take the camera pull it up rotate the camera to look down to the head of the, uh, the player start uh pull it back a little bit and that's that should be all you should see a top view of your player now let's hit the play God damn it! Is, th this thing is not pulling the full the full screen on. There we go. And from here, you can see uh, the top view of the game. Now, this is nice if you're gonna make a a multiplayer game or something to play with a lot of players. You can create walls and everything normally, like a like a normal game. Uh, the only uh, thing and that you should think when you create games like this is to leave every floor flat. Do not create holes. Do not create bumps on the floor. Just every uh, leave everything flat. If you're gonna add more floors, let's say like, let's say like this one here. Want to add more floor to this? Control A. There we go. I need to add another light. My bad content browser let me put this here and let me put uh, another light point here there we go we need to build the lightning again and the AA path play button there we go and here we go again with the full screen thing thank you now, as you can see uh, you need to leave everything like really flat because if you're gonna be running around killing people and everything you cannot create big bumps or something you need to create no norm, uh, normal bumps like in really low bumps or holes on the floor now it's way better leaving it flat just insert a couple of items or objects for your game like trees rocks things like that and it will look nice now a game like this is way way good for the uh, tablets like ipads or android tablets phones like smartphones so you can have a good game there so nothing if you're uh, if you want to try something for the tablets for androids or for ios devices a game like this should be nice. Uh, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hope to see you on our tutorial number six. Uh, hit the like button, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.